So, the information age. Everything we need is out there for free. We live in the Google world, right? Everything is Googleable. Probably a word if you look it up. Just look it up on Google. You'll probably see it there. So why do we all seek knowledge from seminars like this, and why do we want to hear from real people? Anybody here ever go to a seminar or anything like that, get all excited and still do nothing? Just me? I've done it. I did it before. Until I figured out my why, until something, until something snapped in me, and I said, no more. No more. Some of you this weekend will say no more. And it's you guys I'm extra excited about. You ever get started and end up quitting? Okay. I told you the story of having that, buying that real estate course and buying a couple of houses and then losing them. You imagine how that must have felt for me? Losing those houses? What an embarrassment. I'm 19 years old, got two foreclosures on my report, credit, I mean, horrible. Not, not a good time at all, right? Not a good time in my life. Why do people quit? Why do people get excited and do nothing? We believe success has a lot to do with being around like-minded individuals. We think and act like those we associate with. Think about your conversations. This weekend, well not this weekend, you'll be busy this weekend, but on a normal weekend when you're just chilling out, whatever, you got family, 4th of July party, what are your conversations like? Think about what those conversations are like. People, you know, my job, or you talking about dreaming and going for things, and think about who you're hanging around. If you associate people that are going for your dreams, would that inspire you? It might anger you at times because you're not going for yours, but in the, if you use that energy and turn it around, it can inspire you to go to your dreams. If you have people that don't want you to go after your dreams because they're nervous, you know what I mean? They might not be helping you. So being around like-minded individuals has a lot to do with your success. But your daily habits improve when you report to someone besides yourself. I have spent, it's, it's, now it's closer to $300,000 on classes, seminars, books, tapes, CDs, and more. But my success dramatically increased when I hired coaches. Coaches change everything. They help you get to the next level in life, and they help me move my business and my personal life ahead. My business coach is from a company called The E-Myth. I'm going to talk about The E-Myth tomorrow. It stands for The Entrepreneurial Myth, but it's a well-known company. But Jim was instrumental in helping us put together our values and our, when we started out with VestroPro. Having a coach helps you think differently, but this is my business coach helping with business things. Joe Moffitt was my peak performance coach. I met him through going through an Anthony Robbins event, and I actually had uh, paid to have a one-on-one uh, -on -one coach. Things changed. Things changed for me. Things started to snap. Things started to go a different direction because I had somebody challenging my thoughts. Because if you sit by yourself, you only know what you know. Your experience is only what you've had. That's all you can base your decisions going forward on. If you don't have any new, fresh ideas, if no one gives you new ideas or challenges your thoughts, you'll stay in the same place. But a coach can make you think differently about situations so you can get out of the rut and stop spinning your wheels and move forward.